Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and in this episode of C++ Crash Course, we're going to be looking at the unordered map in the C++ standard. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our example. All right, so a lot of times when we're writing a program, we want to store some data, uh, but the key that we want to use to retrieve that data isn't necessarily an integer. Now, if we don't care about how this data is ordered, um, and we just want an efficient way to store the data and retrieve the data, but not use an integer for indexing, we can use what's known as an unordered map. Right, so in this case, we'll create an unordered map. So, of course, we'll have to include it. Um, and so we, we specify uh, these template arguments, right? So this is going to be the key first. So we're saying that uh, the key to accessing our unordered map is going to be a string, and the value that we get is going to be a double. Right, and we'll call this constants. And what we'll store is the number of constants and then we'll index into this uh, unordered map or we'll search this unordered map based upon uh, these strings. So pi root two or e, and we'll give these numerical values uh, as doubles. Right, so um, the way that uh, the unordered map works is that on the back end it's implemented with a hash table. And so what a hash table will do is it will take um, you know, some key and we'll put it through a hash function, which will convert it into an integer, and we'll use that to index into its structure. Now it's unordered because if you were to print out, you know, in order every single element in the hash table, uh, it's not going to be in some sorted order, right? So even if you used, say, integers, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you would get in numerical order, right? So if you do care about, you know, order, there, just like there's an unordered map, there's also a ordered map. And so we'll look at that another time. Now for unordered map, if we want to insert something in uh, to this map, we can do it A, you know, similar to an array with this bracket kind of notation, right? So we're basically indexing into constants, which is our unordered map with pi, and we're setting the value equal to the value of pi rounded off, right? So 3.14159265, right? And so this will insert this key value pair, right? So if we want to access pi again, we can access it using uh, just a string that we've got defined right here as pi. Uh, then we'll go ahead and insert uh, root two the exact same way. Now this isn't the only way that we can access, um, that we can insert something into our, our, our unordered map. We can also use the insert method. And, right, uh, and with the insert method, we'll go ahead and use this make pair to insert this key value pair into our unordered map. So we'll call make pair on e, which is this string right here, this is the capital letter e, and then the value 2.718, right? And so we'll, that'll go ahead and get inserted into uh, our unordered map. And so right here, what we'll do is we'll just dump all the values of the map, right? So it doesn't matter, uh, you know, in which order that they were put into the map, um, this will go ahead and just, uh, you know, go from the beginning all the way to the end. Right, so here we'll just you know, auto and we'll get the iterator back from constants up again. So that'll give you the iterator to the first element. And then we'll say, well, iterator is not equal to constants.end. And then we'll move along each of the values in the unordered map. And we'll print out the key. Now, uh, for each of the keys, the way we get it uh, is the iterator, uh, this uh, the arrow notation, right, is a pointer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the first value. So the first value will be the key. And then this iterator arrow second will give us the value, right? And so this will be the similar way that we dump uh, these values when we call something like find, right? So this will go ahead and print out these three values of pi, root two, and e. Now, what if something's not in the map? A lot of times that, you know, when we're looking for something to see if it's in the map, uh, a lot of times we have to check, has this been added already? Or if I'm looking something up, maybe I'm waiting for something to get added. So in this case, let's say we've got some string lambda, and we wanna to check to see if anyone's added lambda to our unordered map yet, right? So what we'll do is we'll check if constants, which is our unordered map, dot find, so we'll call the find method, on the key lambda is equal to constants.end. Now constants.end will return an iterator, but it will be to the position after the last element in our map, right? So what does that mean? So that means it's to, you know, a, uh, a, a position that is not valid, right? So uh, end is one past the last position of valid elements, right? And so in this case, it should, uh, 
it should be equal, right? Because we haven't inserted lambda in yet. So we'll go, I'll go ahead and print out was not able to find uh, lambda. So let's go ahead and compile this. So we'll do G++, set the standard equal to C++11, and then unordered map, dash O, unordered map, right? All right, and then we can go ahead and run this. And so we see that, you know, indexing or using that uh, for loop, we print out, you know, E, pi, and root two. If we go back to our code, right? So we see that, you know, this was not in the same order that we put uh, these values into the unordered map, right? So over here we put in, um, you know, pi first, then root two, and then we put in E, but it got kind of shuffled around. But again, we don't really care about where these things are being stored in an unordered map, right? And then we see that, you know, when we check uh, to see if lambda has been added using that equal to n, which returns an iterator to one last, one one past rather, the last position in our unordered map, we see that that is equal to true, and it says was not able to find lambda. Lambda. So right. So that's the basics of using unordered maps. We'll look at uh, ordered maps um, next time, or just normal maps. And we'll see that they're implemented with something other than a hash table. Uh, Right? And so if you're interested in any of this code or any of the other code in the series, feel free to check it out at github.com slash coffee before arch. Right, so we've got GP programming with CUDA, parallel programming with C++, some Python stuff, some C systems programming. Right, so we looked at C++ crash course today, and then we looked at in the standard library, and we looked at uh, unordered map. So check this out, download, uh, download it, play around with it. Let me know. Let me know if you have any questions, but as always, I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and I hope you have a nice day.